How you doing everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of the Slot Museum. My name is Charles. We hope you're having a wonderful day today. Today we're taking a look at an old school WMS game and I can't wait to play it. Can't wait. And I can't... And I can't wait to play this game. I fuck up so many times, but I've learned to look in the lens and not the monitor. So that's a good thing, right? Anyway, today we're taking a look at All That Glitters. It's a classic WMS game that I think you're going to enjoy. I don't enjoy it because I don't like the cascading reels. I'm not a big fan of those, uh, but maybe you are. Let me know in the comments below, and let's get on with it so you can stop hearing me fucking blabber about All That Glitters. Let's just fucking showcase the game, shall we? Here we are playing All That Glitters. Just before we uh, move on, I just want to no let you all know that this is my home slot machine. I am not at the casino. So whatever we play on the slot machine museum is at home. I'm not at a casino. Just wanted to clear that up, just in case you didn't know. So let's go ahead and take a look at the pay tables for All That Glitters. <laughs> It looks like uh, all that glitters, the gold logo, is our top symbol, paying 5000 for a five of a kind. Diamonds at uh, $1,000. Uh, we got some emeralds and rubies. Our wild symbol is the uh, jewelry box, or whatever you call that thing that you buy your, your girlfriend's ring in. And then she says yes or no. Uh, three bonus symbols are the coin. We'll get there, I guess. But there's sapphire and fist. I should fucking cut that out because I don't know how to say that word. Opal. And then uh, this is the uh, jewelry shop bonus. If we get three bonus coins on an active pay line, that will trigger the jewelry shop bonus. And there's your values for each of the uh, jewels we can select in here. And uh, each piece of jewelry completed awards 100 to 500. Each shatter awards 10. We do not want shatters in the bone. I do know that. Okay, that's just a repeat. And then there's also a help. During the, uh, here's just some information about the cascading reels. During each game, the reel symbols cascade into place as if dropped from above. No shit. Winning combinations are paid and then something extra happens. A symbol in all Pay table, defined combinations disappear, and new symbols come down, taking their spot. Any new winning combinations formed are now paid, okay? We've all probably played uh, cascading reels of some sort in the casinos. Uh, three bonus coins will trigger the jewelry shop bonus. And there's your 20 pay lines. Since this is an old school game, there was very little pay lines. Um, and that's how to use the buttons on the, the game here. And what is this? Smart Touch. Okay, this is a game that where is it where if you touch the symbol like this, it will give you a little bit of information on what you need. So for our bonus, we need three symbols on an active pay line. All right, so let's go ahead and put $200 in the machine. We'll do a little bit of live play and show off some bonuses. Uh, for this episode, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go ahead and change the denomination to five cents. The first time on uh, Slot Museum. All right, so we got $200 in the machine. Max bet is $10. Let's see what happens. So once you get a, a line hit, it will shatter and bring down new symbols. And we'll keep going as long as we keep getting uh, wins, I suppose. All right, so we want our money back on that spin. Now, I am not a fan of uh, cascading reels uh, by any company. I don't like them on Bally, I don't like them on WMS, and I don't like them on IGT. Uh, not a real big, big fan of uh, cascading reels. 
Uh, I will play them from time to time, uh, but that's about it. I do like Invaders from Planet Moolah, uh, but I think it's because I like the graphics on that game. All right, we won $25 on that spin. Remember, we're playing Nickel. Okay, we're looking for three bonus coins. Now, I'm not sure if this was WMS's first Cascading Reels game, but I know it was one of them. Uh, what do you guys think about Cascading Reels? Do you guys like that? Post in the comments below. Always love to hear from you. And uh, playing on nickels at $10 a spin is really taking our, our money. But that's okay, we can put more in at any time. Uh, I do like the sounds it makes when they, the, the, the gems uh, land. I, I've always liked that about All That Glitters. And the, the new one, which was the winner again, All That Glitters 2. Uh, it, it has a very soothing sound. Okay, last spin. We'll put more money in. All right, we worked it. Well, we lost 200 bucks in no time. Well, that was our last spin. All right, we put $500 in the machine. We're still gonna do our $10 bets here. We did get our first true uh, hand pay. I believe it was on Food, the episode with Food Elite and Lucky Tree. Uh, we still haven't gotten a hand, a, a hand pay on a WMS game, so maybe we'll get one. Uh, the graphics are very dated. Um, maybe at the time they looked cool, but they seem a little bit dated. Uh, All That Glitters 2, of course, uh, had the Win It Again feature. It had better graphics. Um, but I find that these cascading real games are really hard. Um, and it seems like they suck your money really fast, even if you do minimum bet like I do in the casino. All right, let's, let's bring down some bonus coins right here. Come on, bonus. Ah. Now, I'm not sure, like I said, if WMS was the inventor of these uh, cascading rails or if it was IGT. I don't know who started them. All right. All right, we won 30 bucks on that one. Beautiful. Oh, nice. $50 on that spin or that drop, so we want a total of uh, uh, $65. All right, let's get some bonus coins. Come on, bring that shit down. I really like the dropping sound. All right, we won 50 so far. Nice, 40 bucks there. 45. All right, almost 100 bucks on that spin. Would love to see a bonus on here. Uh, if I was at the casino, I would have probably walked away from this game by now because these games do not hold my attention very long. If I don't bonus within the first few spins, I'd probably cash it out. All right, I would probably give it 10 spins. But like I said, these are hard to trigger bonuses on. I never played uh, this game in the casino when it was out. Uh, I'm sure a few casinos in Vegas or California 
might still have these in old WMS cabinets, but um, I don't think I would play them, to be honest with you. Uh, I do think that WMS, with their later games like Invaders and... Um, uh, there was one where the, 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 the you were underwater and they had the similar... The name escapes me right now, but they had symbols above that could will be the next ones to drop. Uh, I like those, but like I said, I, I can't play these for very long. They just suck your... They just suck your money way too quick. Oh. Come on, bring down those bonuses. Nope. See how quick it takes? We were at $500 like two seconds ago. Uh, max bet can be set at different levels from a dollar to two, four dollars if it was on a penny. Oh, we got the bonus. No, we didn't get the bonus. See, old WMS games piss me off with this because that's not a pay line. You don't get the bonus. I'm so glad they don't do that anymore. Now we just have to worry about the ones that pay from left uh, to right and they must be consecu consecutive with like five or more bonus symbols, but that's a lot less frustrating than seeing three bonus symbols on the screen and not triggering the bonus. Very frustrating. I don't know if you, oh, come on, bring those bonus down. Bring the bonus down. Nope. Uh, it's got some background uh, sound, uh, some background ambience in the background. I really like that. I hope you can hear it in the video, but I'll stop playing for a second. It almost sounds like Bejeweled a little bit. Oh my god, we won $500. Nice! Look at that. 500, we're playing five cents, we won uh, 500 bucks on that spin. And of course, the older WMS games, they didn't celebrate your big win. Oh, we got the bonus, so... Very nice. Pick stones until two shatters and the bonus. All right, so we're going to pick gems until we get the two shatters. Uh, I'm horrible with picking bonuses, and I really don't like them. Because pick a stone to create I'll probably a pick both setting. shatters like right off the bat, but let's see. I'm going to craft a masterpiece. All right. For, uh, 45 bucks on that. It's a gem or a hunk of glass. Wow, we're getting You've some good amounts. You've one piece of jewelry. Wait, what, what was that? Oh, I finished this one. Holy crap. Very nice. Let's finish some more. Shatters, don't fail me now. Ah, oh, shatter. Two shatters and the bonus, and I believe there are a total of four shatters on the board. Careful, Jerry. These are very expensive. All right. Now, there were two of them there. Does that mean I get two? No. I thought maybe I got two. So, that's actually our big one right there. Now, did that amount go up? I wasn't paying attention. This setting is extra special. Oh, ah, there's our shatter. Well, we almost won $300 on this bonus. Very nice, and we're playing nickels. Oh yeah, and they continue to shatter after the bonus, so that's cool. Very nice. All right, just some final thoughts on this game. Um, it's a, for the time, I guess it's a really well-designed game. I like the sound of the gems falling. 
I could play this for a long time. Just because of the sound and the whole atmosphere WMS presented to you. Uh, I believe it's called Immersion or, or, or something, but they do that very well. Meaning like whatever theme they, they, they put out, they always suck, they, they always have, uh, I'm trying to describe this the best way I can, they always bring you into whatever they're showing you. Like we're seeing gems on the screen, we're hearing the gems fall, we're hearing this ambience in the background. It's almost like you're in a cave filled with gems even though there's no cave on the screen, but that's where I'm taking myself to when I play this game. Um, good sound design. Um, even the credit count up is good. Um, sometimes when you get the wild symbol, that, that sound I'm not a real big fan of. Um, the payouts are a little rough. Like I said, this game will suck your money really fast because the real spins are so quick because they're just dropping symbols. And just so you know, you guys can like rapid fire this game. It just brings them all down at once. See, so just like that. That's a rapid fire spin. And this is a regular spin. <coughs> I don't. Re Unless you're at the Las Vegas airport and you're about to miss a flight and you have money in the slot machine there, that's the only time you should rapid fire. But enjoy the game. I mean. There is a lot of effort and design that goes into these games. That noise annoys me, by the way. Shut up and move on. But enjoy the game for, like, people actually designed and programmed this. Yes, they designed a way to take your money. But appreciate the art and the effort that it takes to make a game. So try not to rapid fire. Have a good time gambling. Uh, I don't normally max bet when I go to the casino, and when I do, I do horribly bad, so. So anyway, that's, uh, all that glitters. Oh, wait, we just were still in the middle of this bit. So the payouts can be pretty decent, uh, not great, and I'll have to dock at some points because of the, uh, how fast your money can go on this. Even at minimum bet, I throw like 50 bucks in there and it's gone in no time on some of these. All right, that's all that glitters. All right, guys, that was all that glitters. What did you guys think? Leave in the comments below uh, if you've had any luck on this game, if you hate it, or maybe you like the sequel better, or maybe you hate the sequel and love this version that we looked at. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we all have different tastes in games and that's what's great about uh, uh, playing slot machines with different people, I guess. You might like a game that I hate. I love this game, but you hate it. Whatever. Anyway, be sure to... Th oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Before we go into all that, I'm going to show you how I rated this game. Slide it on over, Chuck. As always, I would love to hear your feedback on this game. If you've played it, if you've had big wins, tell me your stories in the comments below. Be sure to thumbs up and like and subscribe. Do whatever you want with this. We also have a Facebook page. We also have a, uh, a Twitter page. Like, subscribe, whatever you got to do on those social media networks. Be sure to like and subscribe. There's a lot of great news. And actually, if you go to the Facebook page, you'll know what episodes are coming up. So anyway... Until next time, happy slotting, and we will see you on the next episode of The Slot Museum. Goodbye, everybody.